Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. The well-known one to seven ratio for dog and human years isn't a reliable way to determine your dog's age. According to researchers, since canines and humans age differently. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer for Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. If you recall, a couple episodes ago, we talked about some new scientific studies that have been published about dogs and aging. Today, we're going to discuss the age-old myth no pun intended, about a dog year and how it equals seven human years. For years, pet owners have gone by the rule that if you multiply your dog's age by seven, you will get their true age. So if your dog is eight years old, their physiological age is likely closer to 56. Science is here to say that equation isn't quite right. A new study by researchers at the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine, which was recently published in the Cell Systems Journal, has found this practice won't give you your pooch's true age because dogs age differently than humans. According to a release about the study, the researchers have come up with a new equation that more accurately compares the age of humans and dogs because it is based on the changing patterns of methyl groups in dog and human genomes. How many of these chemical tags and where they're located as they age. Since dogs and humans age at different rates, creating a formula isn't as simple as the established 1 to 7 ratio the study suggests. The new methylization-based formula the study's researchers have created is the first that is transferable across species and may provide a useful tool for veterinarians and for evaluating anti-aging interventions. There are a lot of anti-aging products out there these days with wildly varying degrees of scientific support, said senior author Trey Eidecker, PhD professor at UC San Diego School of Medicine and Moore's Cancer Center. But how do you know if a product will truly extend your life without waiting 40 years or so? What if you could instead measure your age-associated methylation patterns before, during, and after the intervention to see if it's doing anything? Using blood samples from 105 different Labrador retrievers of varying ages, the study's researchers mapped out how the patterns of the canine's methyl groups shifted as they aged. This new research allowed the study to create a graph that can be used to match up the age of your dog with the comparable human age, and the comparison is not 1 to 7. This research revealed that dogs, when compared to humans, age rapidly when they are young. Per the release's example, a 1-year-old dog is similar to a 30-year-old human. Whoa. A 4-year-old dog is similar to a 52-year-old human. Then, by around seven years old, dog aging slows. The graph formula created by the study reflects these differences. This makes sense when you think about it. After all, a nine-month-old dog can have puppies, so we already knew that the 1 to 7 ratio wasn't an accurate measure of age, Eidecker said. 
The graph, which also serves as the visual formula for dog human age comparison, is available online, complete with Tom Hanks flair for all dog owners to use to help determine do their dog's physiological age. All you need to do is find your dog's age on the bottom axis and trace your finger straight up to the red line to get your pup's age in human years. The researchers know this formula isn't perfect, especially since the study only used samples from one breed of dog, but they hope that this new formula is the first step to a more accurate understanding of dog aging and what kind of care and treatment dogs of different age groups need. If you liked this story, please stick around after the break and we have another one that I am sure you will love. We're living in uncertain times. If there is one thing we can be thankful for, that is the recent pet adoption boom. Shelters are being cleared out, and that means you may not know much about your new best friend. Alaska Dog Works virtual and on-site classes are the best way for you to build a lasting bond and learn about your pup, new or old. From setting up a proper routine to learning the commands and much more, Alaska Dog Works provides you with the resources to develop your dog into one of the best. Right now, Alaska Dog Works has an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Go to alaskadogworks.com now and use promo code DOGWORKS and save 20% off your training program at the time of your booking. Visit alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS to save 20% today. That's alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS at the time of booking. You guys, I really found that study interesting, and I'd love to know in the comment section below what your dog's actual age is now that we have learned so much more about how to calculate their ages. So here's a headline for you. Real Life Lassie New Study Shows Dogs Want to Rescue Owners When They're in Trouble. Our guardian angel might have four legs and a wagging tail. A new study published in the Journal of PLOS-1 from two researchers at Arizona State University found, like the hero dogs of film and TV, your real-life canine likely wants to rescue you when you're in trouble. It's a pervasive legend, explained researcher Joshua Van Borg. Simply observing dogs rescuing someone doesn't tell you much. The difficult challenge is figuring out why they do it. To test if and why dogs want to save their humans, Van Borg and his co-researcher Clive Wynn took 60 dogs and their owners and set up faux rescue scenarios. For the study, the owner was put in a large box that had a lightweight door that the owner's dog could move to one side to save them. Once in the box, the human would pretend to be in distress, calling out for help without using their dog's name, which might have caused the dogs to react out of obedience. The second part of the test involved researchers placing dog food in a box and watching to see how many of the same 60 canines moved to open the box to get the reward. Looking at the two tests, the researchers found that about one third of the dogs successfully rescued their owners and that around the same number also opened the box with the food. The study suggests that these responses could signal that dogs find rescuing their loved ones to be a rewarding task, much like sniffing out and finding food. According to Van Borg, a dog's natural heroism becomes even more impressive when you take a closer look at the study's results. The key here is that without controlling for each dog's understanding of how to open the box, the proportion of dogs who rescued their owners greatly underestimates the proportion of dogs who wanted to rescue their owners, Van Borg said. The fact that two-thirds of the dogs didn't even open the box for food is a pretty strong indication that rescuing requires more than just motivation. There's something else involved, and that's the ability component, the researcher added. 
if you look at only those 19 dogs that showed us they were able to open the door in the food test, 84% of them rescued their owners. So most dogs want to rescue you, but they need to know how. So what do you guys think? Did the science get it right? Does the odd adage one dog year equals seven human year years? And what do you think about the story akin to Lassie? Let us know in the comments section or on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio. For more training tips and advice, visit alaskadogworks.com. And one last thing, did you know that the single best thing you can do for our show is to tell your family and friends how to listen? Who knows, they might just become a rad rabid listener just like you. Don't forget, let us know how old you think your dog is. Thanks for listening. I'm Michelle Porto for DogWorks Radio. See you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.